All right, so I'm over at Jukebox Junction right now and uh, just came down off of 215 going towards Balsam Grove, towards Blue Ridge Parkway up by uh, Lake Logan. And uh, Lake Logan is closed. Uh, well, not Lake Logan, but the road just past that, basically just south of Sunburst Falls. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little bit of an update on how the road is between here and there, uh, show you what it kind of looks like, as well as show you what the Pigeon River normally looks like uh, on a normal day. So again, this is Jukebox Junction um, post storm. And you can see this whole entire building is built up probably 15, 20 feet off the ground. And before we had the water base here, right up to the bottom of the building there, you can see their AC system uh, that was sitting on that platform is wrecked. And you can hear the river. There is the Pigeon River. And that's just about how it normally looks on a normal day, I mean, it's maybe a couple of feet deep in some sections. You can see it's about 30 feet across. It's a pretty normal river. I mean, this is how they normally are around here. And as if you've seen my other videos, this water was all the way up to the bridge. You can see all the debris that's been forming there, but it's all the way up to the bridge and lapping over it there. Um, this was literally a week ago today. That, uh, Today's Friday, October 4th, and uh, last Friday was when all the flooding was happening and I was here seeing all this water that was just going crazy, and this is what it normally looks like. So if you wanna get an idea of how bad that flooding was and how devastated people are, water that shouldn't be going to places uh, that did. So yeah, this is what it looks like. Thank you. Right here is the Pigeon River off of 215 uh, north of Lake Logan. Uh, actually right here at the bridge that crosses over it. And you can see here is the lake now and how it looks with all the rock and sediment that has basically now formed an island in the uh, first part of the lake here. You can see there's a couple different areas over here where water levels are down and everything's kind of dropped off here.